honoring Wilma Mankiller. Born in Oklahoma in 1945, Wilma's last name, Mankiller, refers to a traditional Cherokee military rank. Wilma's family was a part of a Bureau of Indian Affairs relocation program which moved Native Americans to metropolitan areas with better job opportunities. At the age of 11, Wilma and her family moved to San Francisco, California, which she described as her own little trail of tears. In 1969, a group of Native American activists occupied Alcatraz Island to bring attention to past and present injustices and issues Native Americans faced. Inspired by their activism, Wilma realized she too wanted Native Americans to know the rights they had. So, she began her work as the director of Oakland's Native American Youth Center, working on restoring pride in Native heritage for the youth. She would move back to Oklahoma and continue her activism by founding the Community Development Department for the Cherokee Nation, which focused on improving access to water and housing. The movie, The Cherokee Word for Water, highlighted Wilma's work with the residents in the town of Bell, where they collaborated to build a 16-mile water line. In 1987, Wilma was elected to serve as the first female chief of the Cherokee Nation. She is also the first woman to ever be elected as a chief of a major native tribe. She remained principal chief for 10 years, and during her time as a leader, the Cherokee population more than doubled, she revitalized the nation's tribal government, and improved education, health care, and housing. In 1993, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Five years later, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Bill Clinton. Wilma passed away in 2010, but is still recognized today for her groundbreaking contributions. In recognition of her activism and work, in 2022, she was chosen to be part of the American Women Quarters program and became the third woman to be featured on the quarter. Honoring Wilma Mankiller